Hey guys, welcome to day two in Stardew Valley. We're just getting out of bed. We're gonna we're gonna warm our hands by the fire quickly. Today's gonna be an exciting day because we're gonna do some fishing. But first, we got mail, and uh, the first our first letter is just an advertisement from Pierre's general store. Basically, he's. Uh, wanting he's, he's basically saying that we can upgrade our backpack and we're gonna need to do that because we're gonna need to carry lots of stuff later and what else is there oh hello there just got back from a fishing trip you should come down to the beach sometime i've got something for you willie who's willie is he does he live down at the beach by elliot well i guess we'll find out well, we're just walking over to Pelican Town now, and uh, it looks like a beautiful sunny day. And uh, what's this little exclamation mark that's pulsating here? Let's check it out. It's it's our it's in our journal. It's going to be one of our goals. It says to the beach. Uh, visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. Someone named Willie invited you to come visit. Ooh. So I think we're like halfway meeting everyone in Stardew Valley. Um, there's a few people we haven't met yet, like Sebastian, Maru, but we're going to be meeting those people soon, one by one. Let's head down to the beach first. <gasps> oh. Wow. Listen to the beautiful music, guys. There's Willie smoking a pipe. Ahoy there, son, says Willie. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Willy seems nice, right? I'm still trying to unwind from a month out in the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Oh, that's good for you, Willy. That's awesome. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And maybe you'll buy some stuff from my shop too. Are you kidding me? We received a bamboo pole. Wow. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish, says Willie. Oh, hey, my shop's back open, so come by if you need anything. Okay. I'll also buy anything you catch. Oh, so we can sell fish to Willie too. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. P.U., that's a funny way of putting it, isn't it? Well, I really, uh, that's so nice of Willie to um, gift us a fishing pole. Have you guys ever been gifted something before? Probably for your birthday, maybe? It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days, says Willie. Well, let's make Willie proud by uh, showing him that we can catch a fish or two. on the line. It's our first fish. It's not going to escape from us. Oh! Ooh, a herring. A little little herring. Well, actually, it's, it's a grown-up herring. When you go fishing, guys, if you've ever gone fishing before, it's important to only catch the, the large adult fish, because if they're little babies, you got to throw them back in the ocean. Seaweed? That's not a fish. We'll see what else we can catch. Looks like Willie's going back into his shop. Oh, another one. Well, this one, this one feels a little harder to catch. Ah. Oh, I almost lost them. We're going to be doing a lot of fishing in Stardew Valley, you guys, because it's a good way to make a little bit of extra money. Oh, a halibut. Have you guys ever had fish and chips? A nice battered piece of fish with some crispy, salty fries and ketchup. Delicious. Halibut's usually used for fish and chips. You know, when I was a kid, uh, we lived about mm, 20 minutes away from a pier, just like the one we're fishing on right now. And uh, 
my dad and my sister and I would go down and we'd take our fishing rods and get little worms and we'd go fishing for fish just like this. Have you guys ever been fishing before? Or have you not been yet? Well, it's a really nice time. It's very relaxing. And maybe you can ask your grown up if you can go fishing one day, if you're near a body of water that even has fish in it to begin with, because a lot of people don't. Some people live out in the desert where there's no fish to even catch. So, oh, we got another one. Ah, this one's kind of, uh, this one's a little hard to catch too. And uh, I got it. Uh, oh, a flounder. Look at the pretty little spots on that flounder. Let's try a couple more times. Oh, more seaweed. <laughs> Speaking of seaweed, have you guys ever had dried seaweed as a snack? It's really healthy for you and it's super delicious. You can probably ask your grown up to get some if you haven't tried some yet. Let's, um, let's head back up to Pelican Town. That's enough fishing for one day. Oh, hey, Mayor Lewis. Just place anything you want to sell in the shipping box next to your house. Absolutely, we're gonna be planning a lot. We're gonna be basically selling a lot of vegetables there soon enough. And there's Alex just, just relaxing outside under the tree. Hey, is that Abigail? Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. That's me. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, Abigail, you're always welcome to come and explore the farm, uh, regardless of whether we're there or not. Everyone's welcome. But right now we're going to buy some seeds from Pierre. We're going to buy some bean starters, some cauliflower seeds, some potato seeds, some tulip bulbs. And I think that's enough for today. Uh, I'm really excited to plant those beans though, because you know what they say, beans, beans, beans. The magical fruit, the more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the more you eat, the more you eat, the more the magic, magic you have. Oh, hey Jody. My husband Kent is a soldier working overseas. That's why he's not here right now. Oh, I know he'll come back safe. Do you guys know what a soldier is? It's someone who goes to war. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place. He helps me out with the chickens, so I'm not complaining. Well, that's pretty awesome. Hello, you must be Jomo, the new farmer. I'm Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. I'm Jomo. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. We just met Abigail and we've already met Pierre. Robin says, it sounds exhausting meeting all these people. And there's Emily. We know where Emily it works because we met her at the Star Drop Saloon the other night. And this is like a nice little like meditation place where people just sit and breathe and gather their thoughts. You know, come to think of it, Pierre's general store is a little bit like a community center because there's like a little kitchen, there's a, a meditation place, there's a little um, area where People can like do exercise and stuff. Oh, this is awesome. People are dancing and skipping rope and like lifting weights. Speaking of which, let's go do some exercise ourselves. Are you guys ready to do some exercise? It's not good to look at screens for too long. So let's just take a break and get up and do a little bit of exercise, okay? And I know you think you're just watching me right now, but I really want you to get up and move around a little bit. It's always good to get up and move your body and get the blood flowing and get get your get fresh air in your lungs when you're sitting watching a screen for too long. So let's do it together. Come on, come on, I'll, I'll get up too. I'm serious, get up with me. Come on, let's do this. Only be quick. All right, let's just move our body. Let's, let's shake our, let's do some fists and shake our body this way and that way. And breathe really loud, just like, just like everyone, just like Jody and um, and Robin and Marnie and Carolyn in uh, Pierre's general store. We just gotta shake it out a little bit. Shake it out and get a little bit of exercise. <laughs> See how quick that was? Easy peasy. Anyways, let's let's get back to the game. Uh, 
Well, that was fun, but I want to go up here. I don't know if we went up here yet, but this is like a little playground and a fountain. See, see like the play area for the kids. And there's Haley. Nice shoes, says Haley. Are those made out of plastic? I'm bored. <laughs> well, Haley, <laughs> you need to like go do something if you're bored. You can do anything. Have you guys ever been bored before? You know, when you're bored, sometimes we call that being in the waiting place. And when you're in the waiting place, you can remind yourself that you're there and find something to do. It can be anything. So this is Robin's house. And we're gonna go meet Demetrius, Robin's husband. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, the local scientist, and I'm also a father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Wow. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. I don't think we've met Maru yet. And down here is Sebastian's uh, room. And it looks like he's busy. He's working on his computer. So we'll wait to, to introduce ourselves. By the way, do you guys know what a scientist is? Do you know what a scientist does? A scientist is someone who studies things. A scientist is someone who studies the world around us. It can be anything, plants, animals, food, even things like water, who knows? Maybe a scientist is something you wanna do when you grow up. Would you let me know in the comments? So up here is kind of the mountain area. That place we were just at looks like a good fishing spot. And who's this? A stranger, hello, I'm Linus. Hi Linus, I'm Jomo. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Oh, that actually sounds really peaceful. And speaking of which, have you guys ever been camping in the forest before? Have you ever gone camping in the woods with your family or your grown up or your friends? It's when you go out into the wilderness, into the forest and you make a tent and you get a sleeping bag and you get all nice and cozy and sleep out in the forest and it's really quiet and you can hear the birds and the creatures and breathe the fresh air. Oh. I used to do camping. I used to go camping all the time when I was a kid, and I still do as a grown up. It's amazing. And you should ask your grown up if you can do it too. Anyways, here we are back at the farm, and we're just clearing a little plot of area to basically plant our first vegetables. And what we have to do is do something called till the soil. And basically what that is, is we have to take a little, a little kind of shovel and dig up a little bit of the soil so that it, it's a little loose, it's aerated. That means the seedlings will be able to breathe. And uh, it's not generally a good thing to put seedlings in hard soil because there won't be any room for the roots to grow deep. So what we're doing now is just loosening the soil so that our seedlings have a nice home to grow their roots in and uh, we can plant them now. Let's start with our parsnips. You guys remember what parsnips are, right? Because we talked about them in the last episode and we got to plant 15 of them. And then uh, let's plant some potatoes. These are the happiest potatoes in Stardew Valley. Look at how happy they are. And then we've got cauliflower that we'll plant next. Cauliflower is delicious. And some tulips because we plant tulips to attract bees and pollinators. And last but not least, bean stalks. Beans, beans, the more you eat, the more you toot. And do you guys know what else we have to do? Do you know the next thing we have to do? Try and guess. I'll give you a clue. It comes from the sky. We have to water our seeds. Just like this, calmly, very calmly, very gentle. We have to water our seeds a little bit every day, but not too much water, because if there's too much water in the seeds, then they won't grow properly. So just a tiny little bit of water close to the ground is just enough for the seedlings to basically sprout. These seedlings aren't even babies yet. They're like babies before babies become babies. But soon we'll see them sprout into little tiny baby vegetable seedlings. Whew. What a day. Ugh. We met Willie, we went fishing. Willie even gave us a, f a fishing rod. Oh, we did some exercise. We made our first garden bed. We planted all kinds of vegetables. And we we just did so much. And, and I really appreciate you guys 
coming on this journey with me. I, I really, this is so much fun for me. And I hope you guys stick around and watch the next episode too. And also, let's just take a moment to take a deep breath and get ready for bed. So I want you to breathe with me, okay? Deep breath in. Deep breath out. It's the best way to get ready for bed. We even leveled up in fishing. Day two, Stardew Valley. That's a big accomplishment. And thank you guys again for joining me. And I'll see you tomorrow after we get a good night's sleep in Stardew Valley. <laughs>